Another teaching that I found so useful in my own life is what I would call surrender. And I don't mean surrender in terms of being defeated, but surrender in terms of acknowledging the limitations of my mind. Bowing my head in surrender acknowledges that I don't always know the answer, that this limited ego mind can't itself tap into the wisdom of the spiritual self. But if I calm my mind, if I open my heart to receive guidance, I have found that that guidance is always available. Whether you think of that grace or guidance as coming from a source outside of ourselves, like a saint, a guru, or a form of God, a higher power, or whether you think of it as the inner guru. Either way, that guidance becomes available when we're willing to acknowledge the limitations of this mind and open ourselves to receive guidance. So I have found praying that way for guidance, bowing my head, acknowledging the limitations of my own mind to be a very, very supportive practice. In that way, I link myself with a higher power. I allow the grace, the strength, the guidance of that higher power to support me and uplift me.